You're listening to Voice of Israel. Welcome back to One Nation with Dove Lipman. One of the exciting phenomenons in Israeli society today relates to the ultra-Orthodox community, a community that I worked with very closely while I was in the Knesset, a community that has traditionally been isolated in Israeli society, and now you're starting to see that they want to be part of the broader Israeli society with increasing numbers making a very courageous decision to enroll in mainstream universities. This is not an easy transition. It's a new culture for young men, women who have been uh, enclosed in their communities, and they've decided to go out and try to uh, achieve an academic degree. Uh, I'm excited to have two young men in studio today, Or Rappaport and Tomer Dror, two activists in Jerusalem for a variety of causes, and uh, I want to welcome both of you to our Voice of Israel t- studios today. Welcome to One Nation. It's great to be here. Or, you're the co-director of a nonprofit called Landmarks, Sune Derech in Hebrew, and you helped start this program, Bili Be'a a wall in the midst to help ultra-Orthodox students uh, acclimate to uh, university. Please tell us what led you to help establish this project. Okay, so I'll tell the, the story. Four years ago, Tom and I, we were both at our first year at the Hebrew University starting our degree. And there was a big campaign, a big demonstration of students who were against a law a proposition of a member of the Knesset, Moshe Gafni. He wanted to pass a law for uh, social uh, security uh, for uh, Avrechim, for uh, people who study in the yeshiva. And many students uh, were uh, furious. Why should the government promote the Avrechim and not us? We also study all day long. And uh, there were uh, big uh, demonstrations. And one day in campus, uh, two secular students uh, came uh, to, uh, to the campus. And one of them was dressed up as a Haredi uh, uh, boy. And the other one took him on his back, trying to, to pass a message that I'm carrying uh, the Haredis uh, on, uh, on my back. And there is some kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe even a parasite. And uh, then uh, Tom and I uh, decided that uh, it's not the way, it's not the solution. And we decided to do uh, something about it. Now, just so our listeners can understand, that's a moment in Israeli society where things could go in one of two directions. They can continue to explode and we move further and further away from each other, or uh, these two young activists said we're going to go in a different direction. So, Tomer, what, what does the organization actually do? So, just like all described, we wanted to do something that is more constructive. I mean, we both played a major role in the demonstrations, in, the, in this protesting, and we wanted to do something constructive. So, what we did, we... Uh, uh, we've initiated a project, a tutoring project, in which we put together a student from uh, uh, a secular, a non-Haredi student, together with the Haredi students. There are today almost 8,000 Haredi students in all kinds of uh, higher education uh, uh, academies in, uh, in Israel. And they have a major problem integrating and uh, uh, finishing their degree because they usually, the men haven't studied math, neither math nor English, and they need to study at the age of 25 and even older uh, two new languages because math and English are both a language and it's hard, it's very hard. So we put a secular student together with the Haredi students for three hours a week uh, and then we split the time because we have two goals. Like or described, we wanted also to change the, the, the relationship between the Haredi and the non-Haredi communities in, uh, in Israel. So we split the time to two. One hour is dedicated to the oldest way of Jewish studying, which is Hevruta. They study, uh, um, they can study Gemara, they can study Rambam, they can study the Bible, anything from the Jewish books, from the Jewish culture. This is one hour. And then two hours is a private lesson that the non-Haredi gives to the Haredi, and then they study together. Um, Over the years, we found out that it builds beautiful, enormous friendship between the two, uh, between the the, the chavruta, uh, we had two students of ours that have decided their chavruta, the chaveri chavruta, to be their ed, their testimony in the chupa. They just they got married last last uh, summer, and the the one of the witnesses was uh, uh, their chavruta from our project. This showed us that we we uh, are doing uh, good uh, 
a good job in the, in the sense of putting them together and building friendships. Absolutely. Just so that everyone can understand this picture, because we tend to think in Israel of it being secular against religious, religious against secular. Here you have two secular students in university who thought of an initiative, and now you have ultra-Orthodox and secular students studying the religious texts together for part-time, and then the secular students helping the religious with their general studies and getting acclimated to university. A real story of, of unity and real inspiration, and to hear that the friendships are actually created, uh, that's something which I think all of us can learn a lesson from. What, uh, or what challenges have you found uh, in this process of, of organizing these relationships? I think the first uh, major uh, challenge was to find uh, the Haredi uh, students. When we just uh, started, uh, many were very uh, suspicious of us. Why uh, do uh, these uh, two uh, young uh, secular men, why uh, do they want to help us? Uh, are, they, uh, are they for real? And, uh, and at the beginning, it was very difficult. I can say that today, it's, uh, the initiative is running from year to year. And uh, uh, at, the, at this moment, we have already uh, waiting lists of dozens of both Haredi and secular students who want to join the program. Uh, but that was the first major uh, challenge when we started. And now I think that as they're seeing that they have no fears, uh, that there's actually good intentions involved, more and more will certainly want to be involved. What about, Tomer, the political leadership or the rabbinic leadership on the ultra-Orthodox side, where I could see them being against any kind of an initiative to help them acclimate to university? Has there, have you spoken to them? Have you met with them? What's that been? It was also, or described the challenge of recruiting the Haredis, uh, the challenge of getting the, what, I don't know if there's a good translation for it, it named Haskamot. Like for uh, them, ag- agreement, agreement and, supportive, and statements. supportive statements from both political and rabbinical uh, uh, leadership in the Haredi community. It was a big challenge. It took, uh, it took us over a year just to do the talking since the moment that we had the idea till the moment that people were starting to study together. And in our goals, it was very important. We didn't want to do it by ourselves because a secular student, just like Or described, that goes into the Haredi community without being a part of it, without the networking that ne- needs to be in order to make it happen, then the project won't be able to, to succeed the way that it succeeded. Now we had over 500 students going through us. So we talked with, uh, with the leadership, with the Haredi leadership that leads the way tr- through workforce. There is a major uh, um, process inside the Haredi community of helping the those who decided that they're not uh, in in their uh, uh, in their way of saying it they're not good enough to be uh, a talmid chacham to be like a, a, a student in the yeshiva for all day and they need to go to to go to work and they want to help them there is a kemach foundation that helps them and we did it together with them and inside kemach foundation there are rabbinical and political leadership that over the time and it took us a while to to prove ourselves that we have some good we have a good uh, um, intentions. A good intentions. We want to do good. So after that, after those months of processing, we uh, uh, received it, and they say, "Okay, you can go." And then we started the pilot program four years ago. So once you have that support, uh, there's no doubt that you're you're off and running. So what uh, or what are your what are your the next steps or dreams in terms of this organization and where you're heading? Okay, that's a great uh, question. Um, as Tomer uh, mentioned, already uh, more than uh, 500 students took part in our uh, program, and we uh, believe that we can uh, multiply it uh, and uh, maybe even have uh, reach a, a step when uh, a 1,000 students each year take part in our uh, program. Another thing we want to do is we want to um, uh, help our alumni uh, to, to do the, their next uh, major step, which is finding the way inside the Israeli uh, workforce and to, to help them uh, in uh, this step, which is very, very hard for many of them because many of the uh, secular, uh, secular uh, employees, uh, they, don't, they have many uh, fears, many uh, suspicions. They don't want to uh, employ uh, Haredi people. And that's uh, another thing we want to change. So you're yeah. looking for the step beyond the university study towards the next step of actual Parnassah. Tomer, if people want to get involved and support this incredible, remarkable uh, organization that you have, how can they do so? So they can reach out to us at either through the email um, or through mobile phone um, or through Facebook. My name is Tomer Dror. You can reach out in Facebook. Right next to me is Orapaport. You can also reach out to him by Facebook. Um, and we'd love to get anyone involved in it. 
I would add for the just for the finish that our dream is the vision in 10 years from now, the Israeli society and how we will build it. I want to turn to both of you and say thank you so much for what you've done standing up and taking this in the right direction, creating greater unity, helping them with their studies and with their uh, supporting their families. Thank you so much, Tomer, Dror, and Orapaport for joining thank us you, on Dov. Voice of thank Israel you, today. Thank you. For more great shows, visit voiceofisrael.com. Follow us on Twitter at VO Israel. Like us on Facebook at Voice of Israel. We'll be right back after a short break on One Nation with Dove Lipman. Mm-hmm.